Well, I've been hearing bits and pieces throughout about it. I decided to just pause and educate myself on what's going on in, in the world in which I live in. And I have to tell you, I was just furious to know that our own citizens are, are living in, the, in a state of, I mean, it's just, it's inhumane to think that this is how they're living, this is how they have lived. So. I found ways to help Flint. And I found uh, agencies. One is just like this one, Project Compassion, where they rely on the they rely on the community for support. I reached out to one of the directors there. Um, I called one of the local community hubs, uh, Catholic Social Services in Flint, and just said, "What can we do?" And it was all the same. We need water. We need water. But since we started collecting, we ended up getting the Buffalo Soldiers, the Southwestern Illinois Buffalo Soldiers, called and said, "Hey, Rachel, we're going to Flint this Saturday. Whatever water you have." will take it. We've been having just people bring water to us and like, hey, you know, because I think everybody wants to do something. They just don't know where to start. Uh, just challenge the community to let's get out of our comfort zone. You know, that took one act of a governmental change to reroute uh, that water and everything around them changed. And so who's to say we're any different? I mean, anything could happen. Someone can think it's a great idea to do something and then it destroys the whole community. Compassion is not limited to the area in which you live in. Compassion can be worldwide. And so we can see it and say, oh, that's a shame because we're able to have water and do what we need to do. Or we can look at it and say, what can I do? And so water is easy. We get it all the time around here. So why not pull it out and, and send it to Flint. And so that's what we were looking, that's what we, we were striving to do.